He's got sticky fingers, a green thumb, and blinding a surveillance camera with a strobe light. It looks like he knows what he's doing. Neighbors in Poway say someone has been stealing plants and landscaping equipment. As Tinder's anchor Derek Stahl discovered, there have been several thefts on the very same street. He's Poway's grab-and-go gardener, captured on surveillance late Wednesday night. He starts by disabling a camera outside an office near Midland and Twin Peaks, then goes after his real target, plants. And we had a big plumeria here that was probably about five feet tall. Business owner Tom Bellway says the man also snatched succulents. It's not the crime of the century, right? But uh, I don't know if they could resell it, but really at the end of the day, I think it's just anything that's loose that they can get their hands on. He says someone has stolen their outdoor furniture and other items six times over the last six months. It's a beautiful place, a beautiful area. We came here because it's serene, there's serenity. Um, so it's, you know, it's painful to think that overnight that this is happening. Just a short walk down the street, the pastor at the Park Church says they've been hit twice in the last two weeks. Went through our kind of work shed and I think they got a carpet cleaner and a leaf blower. Pastor Andrew Henneforth says in the latest case, the guy hopped their fence. I noticed a pile of, uh, of my personal items just right here and a blanket that was draped over this fence right here. But he apparently got spooked, leaving a skateboard and some drugs. In these situations, it's like, am I a victim? Sure. But in some way, he's kind of a victim as well to an addiction to substance abuse. It's not clear if the cases are connected, but between the surveillance video and a bottle and can left at both scenes with possible DNA. We're hoping that we can resolve it pretty quickly. People in Poway are hoping to nip this guy in the bud. I'm Derek Stahl for 10 News. The Poway Sheriff's Department says at this point, no arrests have been made and no suspects have been identified. If you do have any information, call the Sheriff's Department or Crime Stoppers.